okay so this is an ethane molecule yeah this is actual 3d structure of ethane you can see that this is ch3 this is ch3 okay the carbon carbon single bond and then we said that there is a free rotation about this carbon carbon single bond and so if you uh, uh, so I, on this we can't i can't rotate uh, carbon carbon single bond but there are uh, there are other applications that uh, uh, there are simulations that you can run where you can actually rotate the carbon carbon single bond yeah so let's say um, I rotate this molecule so I want to see the molecule from this direction okay from left hand side I want to see this molecule from left hand side through this carbon carbon single bond yeah and so let's see how it looks and then so it should looks like a Newman projection yeah, and so this is the first carbon that the green carbon correct the green carbon that I showed with the nose it was orange carbon yeah the first the, that was the orange carbon yeah the, the little dot it is connected to three car three hydrogens that is coming towards you and then behind it because the second carbon is behind this carbon it needs to be shown with a larger circle that was the green circle yeah and that green circle also had these three hydrogens correct so that is connected to this three hydrogen so that is the reason why it is drawn like this okay so this is Newman projection this is what it looks like you can replace these hydrogens with any other group but you can um, it's gonna look like this this is the Newman projection for ethane is that clear okay and so let's say if this is one way and I'll, I'll, I'll uh, again bring it back to you on on this one okay so this is called as staggered conformation where the dihedral angle between the two hydrogens is so this hydrogen is on the first carbon this is on the second carbon okay the dihedral angle is 60 degree so this these two hydrogens also have dihedral angle of 60 degrees 60 degrees 60 degrees so on and so forth okay so that's a staggered conformation. It doesn't matter how you rotate it; it's always 60 degrees. Yeah, you can you can make you can rotate the molecule via 180 degrees, and it's still going to be 60 degrees. Okay, so you can see that this is called a staggered conformation. Yeah, now this is called as eclipse conformation, where the dihedral angle is zero degrees. Yeah, and so let's rotate, rotate, and you can see that everything is eclipsed on everything else that is behind it okay the dihedral angle is zero degrees okay now which which uh, structure do you think is more stable the first one or the second one the eclipse or the staggered other guys staggered conformation that is correct yeah so here there is an issue so if, if you so this is a ball and stick model let me change the the model to um, let me see if I can I can use what is it yeah space filling model you can see that this is quite nasty yeah these hydrogens are very close to each other correct and this is your this is how the molecule would look like this is a space filled model okay this is a uh, um, very close resemblance to the actual molecule of the uh, compound yeah if you take the staggered conformation and and do the same thing space filling model with the staggered conformation and you can see that they are quite nicely spaced correct there is no there is no encroachment over each other space there is a there is a nice gap between the two hydrogens you can see and so they are nicely spaced yes so obviously um, this is much more stable than this 
you know staggered is definitely more stable than uh, eclipse confirmation